Hey people, it's Mike Jr. the second. This is Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, and yeah, we're gonna head over to Mount Battle. I think it's called Mount Battle, I don't know, I think I fucked up that name. I just recorded this video from the last one, so very useful. Ooh, a black belt. Black belt helps out fighting moves. Increases fighting moves by 10%. And yes, let's see, I'm going to get rid of Flaffy, sadly. For the next area, because I'm going to be... Well, I really don't want Flaffy, and I have a specific reason why. I think... Should I bring Quacksire? Fuck. Yeah, let's bring Quacksire. I have a reason for all the Pokemon I am bringing. Um, yes. You might be able to figure out, like, pretty much I have pretty much two pairs, I have three pairs of two, which I'd like to work together with. Yes, please, just to be safe. Alright then. Let's do this. No, I don't want to go that way. Do, 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 do. I shouldn't sync to this. Because then I get very off sync when I put down the video together. I actually tried singing the whole thing one time and I actually ended up uh, having to cut myself singing because it sounded way out of sync. Anyway, yep, Mount Battle. A place of challenging tr uh, challenging training for all trainers. It is currently held up held by a sinister gang. Huh. Sorry, the the challenging training. I don't know, th that didn't sound right for a second, even though it actually isn't that bad. And that's a fucking volcano. Alright, just because I want to point this out. This place is supposed to be based off Phoenix, uh, Phoenix uh, uh, the ore region is supposed to be based off of Phoenix, Arizona. We, Arizona, does not have a fucking volcano. We used to have one a long fucking time ago, probably when humans weren't even alive. So, yeah. Just thought I'd point that out. Anyway, you, are you running because you're freaked out? And because you're fucking running! I like how you, uh, um, Yuki can get in the way, too. Weird Pokemon, huh? We're here to stop them. Area leader? Alright then. Hey, you. This guy. I think this guy's very important. Move to leader, yep. Useful guy. Um, I don't think he's actually as that useful, because I think he can delete moves like Surf without actually getting in trouble. Like saying, you can't do that, that's, that's an important move. Alright then. I think we're ready. Oh god. I don't want to do this, can can I just skip this part? Can I like, can I like cheat and skip this part? And, and... And you're gonna make me go, aren't you, Yuki? You're gonna make me go. I hate you. Let's do it. Here is Mount Battle. This is how a mount battle works, pretty much. You go through ten area, you go through ten trainers at a time. The very last trainer is the most powerful trainer of them all in that certain area, and you go all the way up until you get to level 100. So yeah. There is a use for it, which we'll find out later in the game. But I won't talk about it just yet. Alright then. Should have had the water Pokemon out. Anyway, get ready to do this. Confusion, motherfucker! Damn, right there, too. At least we know Confusion's still doing a lot of good damage.
By the way, in case anyone didn't know, this part of the game, I didn't actually go through when I had my recording problem. I got all the way up until the last point, because of course I wanted to save. And I ended up uh, realizing I had a little recording problem. So yes, just in case any of you guys want to know. So yeah. Um, I actually want to know your guys' details. When I go, when I'm done with this game and I capture all the shadow Pokemon and whatnot, um, and I go through Mountain Battle, do you want me to show all the battles? Or do you want me to be, like, not, don't show them as much? Like, if I do, I think I'm gonna show, like, the, um, the last few areas of the game, like, uh, probably the last few areas so you see at least a good 30 fights, just for a little bit of fun, I don't think you guys want to see all of them. And for the other fights, I might speed them up and just put music over it. Or I could just speed it up and put commentary over it, I don't know. It depends, I just thought, I just want your guys' opinion on it. So I can get a good idea. Master? You don't look like a cypher to me. I gotta be careful. Alright, we can go over here. Ooh, sorry about that. Ugh. My, uh, breakfast caught up with me. Ooh, a swine up! And a ball toy. We know about a ball toy. Swine up is a ice ground type. So, yeah. I think water moves are still super effective against it. To my knowledge, ice. Ice Pokemon don't have any, uh, protection against water types. Luckily enough. Alright then. Helping hand and bite. Now time for nom 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 delicious hum that was very stupid of me but I don't care by the way something else very useful you should know when you go through ooh, a larvitar nice larvitar is a pseudo legendary Pokemon well when it evolves it is that's useful um so yes Every time you're done fighting in every fight, it's not like at the end of the areas, your Pokemon are completely healed. So each fight is actually very fair. You battle each trainer with um, full power. Very useful. Something that, you know, like I said, is very useful. They don't fuck you over at all with that. Being all like, you know, the only reason I couldn't, I couldn't beat trainer 13 is because I didn't have enough time to heal. Dude, that didn't do shit. <laughs> Guess shows how powerful we all, we all, we are. I very much recommend if you're gonna be training in this game. Why the hell did I use that? If you're gonna train in this game, use Mount Battle. Mount Battle is the best way to train because you actually get something that kind of replaces the casino because there's no casino in this game. And uh, surprising, really, I think they could have put it in Pirate Town. Um. They got something that replaces the casino in this game for getting, um, Pokemon moves. So keep that in mind, because you actually win them if you win the whole battle. Alright, I'm going to be safe. We have been facing a lot of ground types, so let's put our water Pokemon up front. Alright, good. Sorry, lady, but, uh, you're standing up against Leo. You will go down. In more ways than one. Okay, that, that was pretty inappropriate on my behalf. I'm not sorry, though. Sadly, Croconaw's way leveled down just because of the stupid, um... Just because of the stupid fact that he's a, uh... The Shadow Pokemon. That's what you can never get over the fact of Shadow Pokemon. They can't fucking level up. How is that useful at all? Or all? Oh, sorry, I'm not speaking correctly. Maybe it's because I'm sitting awkwardly in my chair. Surf. Now it's rape time. Because this should do four times damage against both of them. Because fire ground type. And rock ground type. 
Rape time! Yeah, don't you dare fucking talk back to Leo. Alright then. Alright, time for you. What? Can you please speak correctly, my friend? Ryder Raiden? Really? That's how creative they got with that name? Well, that's, uh... That really shows a lack of creativity. You know, I bet that's like an Americanization thing, why it sounds wrong. Because they did like a direct translation. That's what kind of sounds, I don't know. That's like really stupid, though. Usually don't let people get away with that. Time for more rape time! No, not rape! Ah! Wow, he didn't die. That's uh, kind of surprising. Either way, you go down. What the? I thought Pineco was... Is it? Isn't Pineco a rock type? I mean, I know it's a bug type, but isn't it a rock type? Ooh, Hound... Hound Hour, wow. Fire Dark type, very good Pokemon. Very good Pokemon. Oh yes, too bad for you. Alright then. By the way, for Shadow Pokemon, I think I realized that if you... The only time they actually go into their Hyper Mode is if you use Shadow Rush, so... Try not to use Shadow Rush, and for Bantine, you can just use Takedown in return, so yes. Um, I'm gonna try taking out that Pineco. Hopefully, Bubble Bean does it. But if it doesn't, it should at least be finished off by, uh... No, no, it does it. Cool. Very nice. Ooh, a Graveler! Of all form of, uh, Geodude. Still a rock ground type, so rape time is still, uh, insured with water Pokemon. And grass Pokemon. But, I usually prefer water Pokemon over grass Pokemon. I mean, I love grass Pokemon. My, my favorite Pokemon is a grass Pokemon. But, really, besides the fact they can give status and ailments, the grass moves aren't that useful. Because, like, you know, the most powerful grass move, at least in the first generation, was uh, Solar Beam, but you had to wait, to wait a turn to use it. And after it gets done being used, it still does about the same amount of damage as uh, every other uh, really powerful move, like Thunder, or Hydro Pump, or Fire Blast. The only thing different about it, that it, it was 100% accuracy. Though it did become useful when uh, you use Sunny Day. Because then you can use it every time. Real battle. <sighs> Alright people, this is it. This is the battle that tests our character. After this, we got a lot more leeway. That doesn't mean like the fights get easier after this or something like that. But... This is going to be the hardest fight in the whole game. Like, I mean, later points of the game, it will be difficult, and it probably will match this one. But at this point, it's, it's unfair because of our shadow Pokemon. But now, it is time. Let's do it! What? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Um, he said the real batter was after him. I thought we would be facing the bad, like, the bad, bad guys, not you guys. I'm very disappointed right now. I'm gonna kick your ass. I knew a bar brooch. I think I've already seen a bar brooch. Um, water ground type, just like Quagsire. So, yes. Shouldn't do any problem with us, though, because we are, uh... Shouldn't cause us a problem, because neither of us can be hurt. Actually, Mantine's a flying type, so it can't be affected by ground type Pokemon. Or at least by ground type moves. At least it'll do normal damage. Another Tri Pinch? Really? Couldn't get creative at all with Pokemon. Jeez, I don't know, I think I'll just have the same Pokemon over and over again. 
about as bad as the fucking, uh... It was Sandstorm. About as bad as the fucking people who have, like, a thousand magic card, but level 60. I made a joke with one of my friends one time. He was, he, he was making fun of sitting there going, Why the fuck do you have so many, uh... You know, you know, who the hell has six level six, 60 Magikarp? You know, and I had to make a joke going, well, I, I, I once had five level 60 Magikarp and one little one level 65, but then it evolved into a Gyarados, so I had to get rid of it. It's kind of funny, really. can't believe that thing didn't die. Jeez. That's definitely because of our level being outmatched. Lilip! Fossil Pokemon we already know of. It should be a rock bug type. I don't fuck Wait, did he use that before and I totally missed it? Why the fuck does a barb road that doesn't even make any fucking sense. I call foul on that Well fuck you barb roach you're going down Don't need to use surf on your ass You're gonna kill him aren't you mantine? Yep, shouldn't have even used Bite. But what are you gonna do? Wait, no, he didn't use it. Oh, I bet... I don't know, I, I wasn't paying attention. Wow, critical hit, that didn't do shit. Ingrain. Imagine Leech Seed, except for you're just... You're not, um, sucking, uh, HP from your opponent. So, yeah. But I think it only works with the Pokemon that uses it. Like, you can't switch out and, uh... Put out, like, a Gyarados or something, and it also... Is able to use its, uh... The ingrain stuff. Alright, are you affected by water moves? Nope, you're not. That sucks. Doesn't even do any damage, really. Who knows, though? It could... Actually, no, I think it's probably a bug water type, isn't it? Well, no. God, I'm not sure. I mean, you know, considering it looks a lot more like a grass type, but... Fuck, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. And you can look it up if you feel like it. I'll probably already know by the time this video is released. So yes. That sandstorm's really testing my patience. Alright then, let's finish this. Bubble Beam, away! I can't tell, does that say level 36 or 38? Because I can't tell how far we off, uh, level-wise. You know, I Yeah. You know, I never really commented this, but can you really believe these things are being held up by a little, like, propeller? That, like, goes so fucking slow? It doesn't even make any sense. Really? Well... I don't know, like, maybe if it, like, pushes it up, like, barely, and it's being hit, and it's being, like, held by the bottom and the top platforms, I don't know.